Welcome to the session on singly linked list. In the last section, we saw details on how to do append and display. In this section, we are going to look at how do we do insertion and deletion. First, let's start with insertion. So insertion has three properties. One is you can insert in the head or before the head. You can insert after the tail and you can insert in between, right? So in this case, if you want to insert something before the head, right? So let's take we are inserting five before 10. So what happens is watch the head node. Head node would move to the left, right? It was initially pointing to 10. Now it moved to five. Similarly, when you have to insert after the tail, let's take this case of inserting after tail. So I'm going to insert a value of 60. So after 50, you will see the 60. Important thing is the tail moves to 60, right? It was initially at 50. Third one is inserting somewhere in between. Let's give a position. So we'll say after the second node, I want to insert say 20, 15. So let me take 15 after the second node. So this first node, second node, and then now we are going to insert a 15 in between. Now the main advantage of a list, right? I think a linked list, all of you know that it is, um, there is very uh, minimal change required to the data structure whenever a deletion or addition happens. But in case of an array, the biggest disadvantage that we have is whenever an element has to be inserted and we have to maintain a sorted order, we have to shift all the elements, make space for the element and then insert it there. But as you can see in a list, there is no change, right? Just the two pointers got updated. None of the other nodes, 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60 got changed, right? This is the biggest advantage in a linked list. So let's now look at the code. So I'll open a singly linked list code. This is the standard code initially we had, right? So where we had add and display. And uh, so this is the code that we have. Let's just run it to make sure that it is working fine. Yes, this code is working fine. We have 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. Now we'll write the code for insert. I'll do it step by step so it's much more clearer. First is we are doing a insert and uh, I'll insert before the head, right? So the position is zero and I'm going to insert a value of five. So let's write the insert function. The insert function first starts with we'll have a void insert and we'll have the position and we'll have the value right this is how we'll write the insert function so struct tag star temp or we'll have it as current so i'll have one node which is called current and have a count which is initialized to one what i'm going to do is i'm going to find the node uh, before which or after which we'll have to insert right that's what i'm going to do first so first i'm going to check is the position zero right if position is zero that means i'm inserting before head so I'll check if head is null because if head is null, then actually there is no node available, right? So uh, the list itself is empty and we have to insert it there. So what I'm going to do is I'll first create the node which we'll have to uh, add. So struct tag star temp equal to struct tag star malloc of size of struct tag, right? So I'm just creating a node so that I can insert it to the list. So I'm going to store the data, whatever is given, and I'll store the value, and I'll store the next, and I'll say that this is null. So this is where I've created a node which has to be in. So here, as we said, if head is null, it means the list is empty. So what do we do when the list is empty? We'll just like how we did for append, right? We'll say head, tail, both are temp. And we'll return from here because if the list is empty, we can't do much about it, right? So otherwise, what does it mean? Yep, I have a node available or I have a linked list available and I want the new node which has been added to be the first node, right? Before the existing head. So what I'll do is I'll say before, right? So currently whatever is temp, that's the new node that's been created. The next for that is going to be head because we are inserting before the head and now the head is temp, right? Because now the new node becomes the head and after this we can return. So that means if the position is zero, that means I'm inserting before the head. Then I'm checking is head null. That means the linked list is not even there. Then you will say that this is the first node and you will add the node to the list. Else we will say the new node created after that is head and then 
now head now is going to be the new node created right let's just check if this is working first because in isolation we'll check this and then we'll add more to the code if you look at it this is working perfectly right we have the list ready now let's check the second case right where it is going to be i'm going to add it to the middle so what we'll have to do for that is i have to find the position after which i'm going to add so let's come here and i'm going to have a else that means when a, when it will come to else's it is not the first node okay then it will come to else so we'll do the entire visualization in python tutor just stay with me for a while so now it comes to the else part that means i am going to have it this is not the first node i already have a list available and the position to be invert uh, inserted is what we are going to find now right so i am going to have this current pointer which is going to point to head and while current is not equal to null and the position right we have a count variable which said that it is the first node so till we find the position let's assume they are giving it as 2 then i need to move two positions and after that i need to insert right so i'm going to say current is equal to current of next so what happens here is we will take the case first current is pointing to head and our count is initially 1 that's what we initialize the count right we have initialized the count as 1 so now what we are doing is we are counting the number of nodes after which the new node is going to be inserted because they've given a position so initially it will be 0 and then uh, let's assume they've given the value of 2 so initially it will be pointing to 5 and the count will be 1 then it will move to 10 and the value will be 2 and then it will be equal to the position so after 2 after the value of node 10 is where we are going to insert so count will be pointing to 10 so there could also be a case where there are only three nodes available in the linked list but they could say that a hey, insert after the position 20 right then what will happen your current will become null right because it would have pointed to tail and after that it will move to the next node current could become null right so this condition could fail so we'll also handle the condition saying that hey after this list if at all the current is null then it means the position given is invalid right so we'll say that percent d position percentage d is invalid and we'll return from here so this will happen only if you give a position which is very big more than the number of nodes that's when it comes to this current we'll check that as well right else that means yes we have found the node after which we are going to insert so now i'm going to check so we have got that position right so now how do we insert a node so i have a temp node available now after this temp uh, sorry i have a current node available after that the temp has to be connected right so first i'll do temp of next is equal to current of next that means i have connected from the new node to current of next right and then current of next is equal to temp so once i have done this it means yes the new node from there the next node is wherever the current node was pointing it will point to that node and from the current node the temp has been connected so if you look at our animation that we have here yes 10 to 20 was there so the new node will now point to 20 and then current which is pointing to 10 will point to 15 so this is the connection we have made now right so the only last thing that we need to check so we'll check this as well if it is working fine so i am going to do a insert initial is the position let's give a value of 100 and then i'll give a value of 20 right this should show an error saying that hey that position is invalid so you see that the position is invalid so now let's take the actual case where we are going to say that insert i'll just remove this one we don't need this anymore so we'll remove this and then i'm going to say insert of a position 2 and then i'm going to insert a value of 15 right let's see if it is working this is in the middle of the list so let's see okay if you see here 5 10 15 has got inserted perfectly now so now that we have inserted before the head we have inserted in between so let's insert after the tail right so in this particular case we have one two three four five six seven nodes are available so i'm going to say after seven insert a value 45 as of now there is one change required in the code right so if you look at it yes it will insert correctly because it will start from head it will go to the last node 
and after the last node it is going to insert the only one check that is required extra is if current equal to equal to tail that means we are adding after the last node then now tail is temp this is the only one additional change that's required of the code because if your current pointer is pointing to the last node then it means that you are inserting after the tail that means you are adding a new node after tail so that node becomes your tail from now on not the current tail right so let's run this code perfect it works perfectly fine right so you have 45 which has been inserted after 50 right so now we have the entire list working so let's go through this entire code again in python tutor so that it's much more clearer as to what's happening so open python tutor here let me paste this and then i'll do visualize execution so we are starting with add so first i'll jump till here so that the list is created right i'll do a visualization i'll do a breakpoint here and jump so we have the list created now so we have a head which is pointing to 10 next node is pointing to 20 second node is pointing to 30 30 is pointing to 40 40 is pointing to 50 and the tail is pointing to the last node so this is the list that we have now so i'm going to insert five let's look at what's happening i have a position zero and five so it's going to insert before head let's come here to the insert function i'm creating a new node so that node has been allocated memory right so it's been allocated actually this next pointer that we have now should point to 10 because we are inserting this node this next we are inserting it before head right and the head which is pointing here should point to the new node from now on right that's the change that needs to happen now let's see how it is done if position is zero yes our position is zero is the list empty no the list is not empty we have five nodes in the list now we are coming to the else part so i have a temp node which is this one temp is pointing to this new node that has been created and it has a next pointer that next pointer should now point to wherever head is pointing head is pointing to 10 so we are making temp of next is head so let's look at it here so yes it's worked like charm so i have a temp here and the next node is pointing to the head which is this node right and this is not the head anymore it has to move to the new node that's what we are doing next head is temp right that means head node is now pointing to the last node which is this so now this will be the head from now on right so it's worked perfectly so now that's pretty much what we need to do if at all we are inserting before head right so let's come out of the function now i'll do next and i'll come out of the function right second is we are inserting in the middle a position two right so now we have a list like this uh with let me clean up that list and again do it for you so i'll just uh remove this insertion that we have made now so that the list look easier to understand so i'm going to remove this insert of five okay now we'll do the visualization again so let's run this code now okay so i'll create it till here let me do the breakpoints and jump here so 10 is there 10 is pointing to 20 20 is pointing to 30 30 is pointing to 40 40 is pointing to 50 head is pointing to the first node and tail is pointing to the last node now i'm going to insert in middle where the position is 2 right so i have a count a variable which is initially 1 and i'm creating the new node yes the new node is created here 15 and null right it has been created so is the position 0 no position is 2 because we want to insert after the node so now we are going to jump from the first node and make current pointer point to the node after which we are going to insert so first it's going to start with position zero right count is one now it's moving to the second node yes after 20 is where i want to insert now the count is two if you look at it count is two and position is two count is here so now we know that yes after this is where we have to insert the node so between 20 and 30 i'm going to insert the node node is current null current is not null because we have only five nodes and the position is in between these two nodes right so it will go to the else part 
Now what are we doing? I want to insert it, insert the new node between 20 and 30, right? So this pointer should point to temp and temp of next, right? This is a new node that has been created. Temp of next should point to 30 because that's where this is pointing now. Okay. If you see the first change is made. So now if you look at it, temp of next is current of next. What does it do? This is temp. The next pointer here is pointing to wherever this node was pointing. So if you look at it, temp of next is pointing to wherever current of next is pointing, right? So from the new node, I'm making it point to 30. And then I'm saying current of next is sem. So which is the current node now? Current node is this 20. After that, I'm making this pointer point to the new node. So what happens in the list from 10? you have the next pointer pointing to 20. From 20, the next pointer is pointing to this new node which has been created 15. After that, it is pointing to the next node which is actually 30 and then 40 and 50. So the new node has been inserted successfully, right? That's what we have seen here. We'll come out of it and then the last one is insert at seven which is after the list. Again, I'll pause here because I want to make sure that the list is clean for you to see before we start this. Okay, so I'll do a next so that we have the list ready. Yes, 10 is pointing to 20, 20 is pointing to 30, 30 is pointing to 40, 40 is pointing to 50. Now I'm going to insert after 50 the new node, right? For which I have to create the new node. I've created it. So the new node is created and it has to be inserted to the list. Is position 0? No, position is 5. So I'll jump from here. So I'll start from the first node. I'm going to search for the node after which I'm going to insert, right? So it's going to jump. If you look at it, this pointer is moving. It will point to 50 and it will stop there, right? It will come out of the loop. Let's see here. It has reached 50. If you look at it, it has found the node after which it has to insert, right? Because at that time, your count will be equal to the position. Count is 5, position is 5. So now we are checking is the node actually outside the list. No, the position is not outside the list. So it has come here. Now we are going to insert, right? How are we going to insert? Currently we have temp which is pointing to the new node. So from here, <coughs> the next node is going to be null. So there is nothing change required there. So temp of next is current of next. So there is no change required here. Second is Current of next is temp. That means your current node is actually here and the next pointer is here. So this is going to get connected to 45. Let's do that. And then is this the last node? Yes, current is the last node. So now the tail pointer, which is so far pointing to 50, this is the tail pointer, has to point to the new node from now on, right? So it has moved. The tail pointer has moved now. If you look at it, the tail pointer is pointing to the new node, no more to 50. I'll just make it move here. So it's pointing to the new node and not 50 anymore, right? So that's that's the insertion part, right? So we did the insert, uh, all the three things. I suggest you watch this a couple of times so that you understand this concept really clearly. Because insertion, we have gone through the all the three possible combinations in insertion. I want to make sure you understand this perfectly.